All right, this is my um, setup history for an arthrogram. Um, I just picked to do a shoulder arthrogram. You didn't specify which, like a shoulder, knee, or wrist. Um, so I'll start out with my setup. So here at Nina, we use the Mylogram tray. I got a Chucks out, which would be placed on the table. They use Omni 240, a 10 milliliter bottle, general lidocaine, and sodium chloride. Here's my 25 gauge needle. Um, in the book, they call for betadine, but um, everywhere I've seen, they just use the chlorpep nowadays. So I got out one of those. I do believe there's one in the Mylogram tray anyways. Now I just have a hemostat and a marking pen for marking and then a 10 cc syringe. Um, I would also get out sterile gloves according to the size of the doctor. Um, and I, and, uh, I would have a sandbag out as well to help with the hand placement if this was for a shoulder um, arthrogram. Um, that is all that it calls for the setup. And then I just have a sheet on the table. You can have the floral curtain on. Um, and that would just pull across from the patient. Um, and then I also just pulled up a arthrogram exam protocol and it's just on floral. So as far as history questions that I would ask my patient, you know, I would ask if they had any known allergies to any contrast. Um, I would also ask, you know, just general questions on what's going on, what brings them in for this, um, if they have any prior surgery to the area, injury, um, just those basic questions. Um, you could ask if they're on any blood thinners, but I don't think it's that big of a deal for just an arthrogram. Um, and then as far as explanation for the procedure, so I would just say, so we're going to be going into the shoulder joint. Um, doctor will use just a metal tool and a marking pen to find that area under the use of floral. Once he marks the area that he's looking at, he'll numb it up with some lidocaine and then he will be putting some contrast into the joint and then he can see what's going all on in that joint through the use of the floral again. We do keep everything as sterile as possible for this procedure. Um, there is a small risk for inf infection. We are poking through the skin, so that's always a very, very small risk. But since we're doing everything as sterile as possible, that risk is very unlikely. Um, the patient might feel some pressure in the shoulder as we're putting some fluid in, which is to be expected. Obviously, if they're feeling nauseous or uncomfortable at all, they just I would just have them speak up. Um, I will be in the procedure the whole time helping out with the doctor and helping out if the patient needs anything. Um, it's usually a very quick procedure. Once we find the hardest part is just getting into the right area and then it's super quick after that. Um, I know sometimes we do these for like MRI or something so that might be a different contrast media but then we would send the patient directly to whatever their next appointment is. And I believe that's it for an arthrogram.